everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what is a GFP axolotl. The green fluorescent protein, also known as the GFP gene, is super, super cool and it has a really cool backstory, a really cool history to it. So anytime you have the GFP gene in any type of animal, it is actually originally introduced from jellyfish. So jellyfish carry that green fluorescent protein, which in turn becomes part of the genetics of the animal and makes them basically glow under any type of UV light, um, black light, blue LEDs. I never recommend using black light with axolotls. Blue LED is perfectly fine. That's what I use in my tanks, as you can see here. Um, I use the blue LED, which just comes as a setting on one of my lights that I have. So how they ended up getting introduced to axolotls uh, was through science. Normally how weird things happen to animals. Yeah. Scientists introduced the GFP gene to axolotls so they could better understand and better study the tissue regeneration that axolotls have. Can you not scratch on the chair? Why are you harassing me today? Axolotls are one of the few animals in the world who can actually regenerate any part of their body, including parts of their brain. So if they have any type of injury, whether it's, you know, their whole arm gets ripped off or just like a tiny cut, they will regenerate those cells and repair themselves to pretty much be exactly how they were before it happened. Something I've gotten to observe as an axolotl breeder so many times, especially, you know, when I have rescues or rehabs come in and as a breeder, you do have the occasional nipping happen. Um, and I've actually got to watch them like regrow limbs and it's, it's insane to watch. You're distracting me, but you're cute. So it's okay. Back to axolotls, back to axolotls. We're talking about axolotls. We're talking about axolotls. But scientists introduced the green fluorescent protein to them so they could better understand and better study this anomaly of them regenerating limbs. It made it easier for them to study them, see how it worked and all of that jazz. Uh, so that is how the GFP gene actually got introduced into the species of axolotls. It has now become a genetic anomaly that gets passed down through the generations. So you can breed specifically to get GFP axolotls. It's a lot more common than it used to be, and I would definitely say in the last few years, GFP has become a very popular um, morph that people are, you know, after, people are breeding for, things like that. I've definitely had them a few times in my store. I've definitely, it's one of the lines I'm actually working on getting together um, a pairing for so I can have GFPs more frequently on my online store for you guys. Um, you just like yawned. It was cute. I, I guess in the last couple of years, it's kind of, you know, gone along with that whole like people who would get really into glowfish and glow betas. Um, you can have a glow axolotl. Really the only thing that's appealing about them is the fact that, you know, they glow. There's really nothing different about them compared to a regular axolotl. There's no differences in care. There's no differences in what they eat. There's no differences in anything. It's just a physical trait difference. Um, so really, if you're wanting to get a GFP, that is just a specific thing that you want. It has nothing to do with your care level or anything like that. I personally have four GFP axolotls. Buggy, she's the most popular one that you'll see on my accounts just because she's literally just like a little light bulb. Her The GFP is strong in her. Uh, then I have Remy, who is uh, my rescue that I've had for a very, very, very long time. Um, he is a GFP golden. And then we have Scarlet, who is my GFP wild female. She's absolutely beautiful. Her GFP isn't as strong as Remy's or as strong, definitely not as strong as Buggy's, but it's there. You can see it in her eyes. And then I also have uh, Toph, my eyeless axolotl. She has a little glowworm tail is what I call it. Uh, so when you look at her tail, you can see the GFP going through her tail. But anyway, that is the explanation of what a GFP axolotl is. What are they? How did they come about? They're very, very, very cool morph of axolotl. Um, I wouldn't say they're one of my favorites, but I think they're one of the more interesting ones that you can get. It's always cool to just show somebody that. That's one of my favorite things to do when people come over and be like, you want to see Buggy's superpower? Flip the light. Really cool like conversation starter. They're really cool to look at and they're very interesting once you actually know how they came about. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And just so you know, I am restocking my merch store with the Blink and Toothless Heart merch that came out last year. Um, since you guys love Blink and Toothless so much, I work with my merch artist to get a redesign to match the current kind of vibe of the merch store. And we came up with this. So we are gonna go ahead and relaunch that today. As of midnight last night, the merch is up on the merch store as well as other stuff like the Eat the Rich t-shirt and the Lightning Bug merch is back. 